In this video, you'll explore how to use a group chat in Google Chat. You'll learn how to create a group, send a direct message to a group, and edit and react to a sent group message. First, let's create a group. Having a conversation with several people at the same time can be useful. To start a new conversation, open Google Chat and click Start a Chat or click New Chat in Gmail and then click Start Group Conversation. Type the names or email addresses of the people you want to message and click their names to add them to the group conversation. Suggestions might appear as you enter text. You can also select people from the list of suggested contacts by clicking the person's name. Click Start DM with selected users when you've finished adding all members to the group. Now we can send a direct message to a group. Type your message and click Send Message, just like you would in a one-on-one -on -one chat. Remember, messages aren't limited to text. To communicate with an individual in the group directly, you can use an at mention, which is also known as tagging. Type the at symbol in front of the person's name and select their name in the dropdown. The other person will see a red dot if they're at mentioned, and they might also receive a notification for that message, depending on their settings. You can also send a link to a website by typing the URL or pasting the web address. A link preview showing the thumbnail of the web page may appear in the chat. While you're composing or editing the message, you can click the X to remove the preview if desired. Click Formatting Options to bold, italicize or underline text to add emphasis. You can also change the text color, use bulleted lists or strike through formatting. Third, let's edit and react to messages sent in the group conversation. After a message is sent, you can edit it to add or remove text, files or Google Meet video conferencing details. To edit a message that you sent, hover your mouse over the message to expose the options and click Edit. Of course, this wouldn't be modern communication without an emoji. Click Add Emoji to open the panel. You can search, click the emoji category, or scroll to find the emoji you want. Then click the desired emoji to insert it into the message. When you've made your changes, click Update to complete your message edit. To delete a message that you sent, hover your mouse over the message and click More Actions. Notice that you can mark as unread, forward to inbox, add to tasks or delete. We'll explain these more in a later lesson in this module. Choose Delete from the list and then click Delete in the dialog to confirm the action and permanently remove the message.